KLS Martin L1 MMF system consists of an arch bar with adjustable bone plates that attach to the dental arches with drill-free locking screws. The system provides temporary stabilization of mandible and mid-face fractures as well as maintains proper occlusion during interoperative fixation and post-operative bone healing. Securing the L1 MMF arch bar to the bone is made simple with the choice of drill-free thread locking screws with 6 or 8 mm bone threads. After approximating the bone fracture, measurement of the arch and identification of the midline, then select either a 7-hole or 9-hole arch plate. In situations where the fracture does not interrupt the arch, such as with subconular fractures or Lafort 1 fractures, the 7-hole design is ideal. It features a fixed midline and spans 110 millimeters. If the patient has fractures in the midline, or there is a fracture that requires placement in the posterior portion first, to ensure good connection to a minor fragment, the 9-hole arch bar is selected. This 9-hole arch bar has an adjustable midline sliding plate. In the patient in this video, there are no fractures in the midline or interrupting the arch of the maxilla, so we will select the 7-hole fixed midline design. The primary challenge of Boneborn MMF solution is the avoidance of tooth roots. The L1 MMF design allows the surgeon to easily avoid tooth roots with a unique plate design. Sliding bone fixation plates may be positioned on multiple locking teeth along an arch bar either by hand or the aid of plate forceps. The slider plates engage the tooth edge of the L1 MMF arch bar when tension is applied to the wires as they engage traditional wire hooks. Compression of the gingiva, the second most important consideration, is prevented through the automatic lifting of the plate off of the soft tissue as the reverse locking threads of the screw engage the plate during the final turns. The plate spacer fork also aids in lifting the plate during fixation. The first step in applying the plate is to contour it along the arch. Define your midline and then plan your use of the slider plates along the arch to the molar region. Fixation of at least five slider plates is recommended. If the arch plate is longer than you need, you may trim the plate using the L1 MMF cutters. Unused slider plates may also be removed with the same cutter. When using the fixed midline arch bar, first place the medial screw, then work laterally. The last slider plate will be medial of the last hook. In cases where fixation is only desired in the first molar region, the last segment is sometimes removed. However, in this patient, there is adequate space and access to place fixation in the posterior molar region. For maximum rigidity of the arch bar, the ideal placement of the slider plate is positioned as close to the last hook as possible. In this situation, the surgeon elected to place the most posterior screw, then fix the remaining screws between the midline and posterior. If this method is used, ensure that you maintain control of the arch bar curvature during fixation. When placing the L1 MMF system with the adjustable midline such as in this situation with a fracture in the body area, working from posterior to anterior on the fractured side of the mandible ensures the area with limited fixation areas is secured first. As shown here, placement height of the arch bar in relation to the dentition is the same as with a traditional toothborne arch bar. If a dentoavular fracture requires further stabilization where bone plates are not well suited, a wire may be passed around the L1 MMF arch plate and teeth as with traditional toothborne arch bar. Unused slider plates or segments of the arch plate may be removed in situ using the L1 MMF cutter. After securing each slider plate, perform wire closure in the same manner as with traditional toothborne arch bar. Each hook can accommodate two loops of 26 gauge wire. Here we use a traditional box wiring method. As the wire is tightened, the system will gain rigidity as the slider plates engage the teeth along the arch plate. Emergent re-entry is performed by cutting the wires just as with traditional arch bar. The L1 MMF provides the surgeon a bone-borne, rigid and rapid solution with the freedom to avoid tooth roots and protect the gingiva. A special thank you to our customers who have helped us shape this product, especially Dr. Stephen Press for aiding us in the production of this video. Contact your local KLS Martin sales consultant for further information.